répondait Sérémien, un rire qui se perd sur sa bouche. Voilà le portrait sans retouche de l'homme auquel t'appartient. Quand il me prend dans ses bras, il me parle tout bas, je vois la vie en rose. Il me dit des mots d'amour, des mots de tous les jours, ça me fait quelque chose. I know most of the faces in this room, some of whom I put behind bars. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm more used to getting a confession than giving one. I'm not making excuses and I don't want your fucking pity. But ex-coppers go out to pasture at the local boozer. It's how we deal with the shit that keeps us up at night. See, it's a clan. And the only time you don't wear your bobby boots is an hour before you're buried. So why am I here? I left home at 1830. The missus would be comatose on EastEnders by 1930. I planned to be at the Elm by 1900. Didn't bank on that storm hitting me flat in the face. I tried to quicken the pace as I needed that drink. But against this fierce wind, I felt I was going backwards. The rain was proper chucking it. I could hardly see my hand in front of my face, but I knew it was shaking. Then I caught a glimpse, high on the hill, under the old cedar, two youngsters, shading under the branches. It was no later than 1905. The exact spot where you raped and buried the Mitchell paper boy. So this is how it goes. My name is Charlie. Charlie Proctor. And I am an alco I'm sorry, fuck this. I don't know why I came. <laughs>